Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about CCIV, Churchill Capital, also known as Lucid Motors. Before I start the video, guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family, guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. Today we're going to be doing a video about Churchill Capital. Should you buy Churchill Capital at $23? Do I think that Churchill Capital is worth an investment? And my overall price prediction for Churchill Capital by the end of the year? I just want everybody to know that everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It is just my personal opinion and for educational purposes only. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So if you guys don't know, Churchill Capital, within recent, looking at the one-year chart, IPO'd September 18th of 2020. It's a blank check company. So it's a, a, basically its official purpose or its main purpose is to merge with a different company. So when we look at that, you know, we see this huge run up here. And this is when there was rumors that Churchill Capital was merging with the EV company known as Lucid Motors. If you guys don't know what Lucid Motors is, Lucid Motors is an EV company based out of Arizona slash California. Um, basically set to rival Tesla and I believe they're going to start production on their cars very soon but Lucid Motors did have the option to you know if they wanted to go public on their own or go public through a merger and they chose to go public through a merger with this specific stock we see this run up when there was a lot of talk about it all the way up to 58 bucks but ever since then it's kind of taken a massive dip now currently sitting at 23 dollars and three cents a lot of people wondering you know is right now a good time to buy this stock you know is Churchill Capital worth the investment in my personal opinion, I do think that Churchill Capital is worth the investment at $23.03. I believe the merger is set to go through July 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. That's when the merger is actually going to go through, and I believe that's when they're going to change the ticker from Churchill Capital or CCIV to Lucid Motors. And like I said, Lucid Motors, you know, it's a very well-established EV company, right? It's not like some other EV companies that kind of, it's more of a business idea or their startup is going to be a little bit slower or anything like that. Although Lucid Motors has not made any sales yet, you know, the company already has two factories that are already made. It's, I believe it's also going to build a factory in Saudi Arabia. And it also has a billion dollar backing by Saudi Arabia as well. A lot of big time analysts have not already endorsed Churchill Capital slash Lucid Motors as well. And like I said, it's a very well established, you know, EV company. It's not like it's coming to the game with a business idea. It's got factories already made. I know there was delayed production with Churchill Capital earlier in the year, but I believe they are set to set in motion now. It's been pretty tricky with a lot of EV companies right now just because of the big chip shortage. Obviously, if you guys heard about that, the big fire in Japan that took out one of the biggest chip factories. A lot of car manufacturers, including Neo, Tesla, and even regular car manufacturers like Nissan, Toyota, Ford, are definitely feeling the heat from this chip shortage. So it may take a little bit of time for Lucid Motors to kind of get its stuff going. But nonetheless... I do think that the overall stock is worth an investment. We've seen how explosive the EV market has been, although taking a slight correction the last couple of months. That doesn't really change my opinion on Churchill Capital or Lucid Motors. They do have a vehicle known as the Lucid Air, right? It's also labeled as the Tesla Killer. It's it's honestly a stunting car. It looks fantastic, you know, and it's very, very luxurious as well. And here's the thing, Lucid Motors is the only EV company, in my personal opinion, that's going to be able to rival Tesla here in the United States, something that's basically made to compete with Tesla. And the fact that the EV market is very exp explosive, the fact that, you know, we see the world kind of moving more towards an EV type of world goes to show that, okay, you know, now may be a, lo a good time to start picking up some of these EV stocks. But nonetheless, I do think that you know, Lucid Motors is going to be a winner. I think it's going to be one of the top EV companies here at out of the United States. And I know they already sold out of their reservations of the Lucid Air. I believe it was uh, 7,800 to about 10,000 reservations, which is very, very good. And like I said, the fact that this thing is already endorsed by a lot of big time investors, a lot of people are picking up CCIV. And here's the beauty of it. It's currently sitting at $22.94, which in my personal opinion is a steal of a price. Now, when it comes to Churchill Capital slash Lucid Motors, I do want people to know that this is going to be a longer term hold. I don't see Churchill Capital doing too much this year or Lucid Motors in itself. Do I expect it to hit the $40 and $50 mark by the end of the year? I do. That's my personal price target for Lucid Motors slash Churchill Capital. I do think that it is going to revisit the, you know, if we take a look at the one-year chart, you know, around the $52 to $55 mark. I could see it happening, especially once they get this whole chip shortage figured out, which should be at the end of quarter three. I am expecting a lot of up trickle from a lot of top EV companies, but with Lucid Motors or slash Churchill Capital, I do expect the stock to be about $40 to $50 by the end of the year. And I do expect Lucid Motors to be about $75 to $100 by the end of next year, 2022. And like I said, you know, this is 
pretty simple to say the least because you know although it is a pretty high price target you know that's basically saying that the stock isn't going to grow five times the amount you know, in just a short amount of time, a year and a half. But if we look at it on paper, you know, a very well-established EV company, we've seen how much praise and how much hype a lot of these big-time EV companies get. And a lot of EV companies are also doing very, very well as far as their sales. All of them are posting up record deliveries. And it just goes shows that there's a supply and a demand for these types of vehicles right now like people are generally getting in more into the ev vehicles you know it saves the money on gas especially right now i live in california gas prices are like it's five bucks a gallon here that's pretty expensive so right now there's a lot of people right now who are kind of phasing out of the gas powered kind of car and kind of rolling more towards the like electric vehicles just because they're better on fuel efficient you know the, they save you money nonetheless and you know some people do also use them as like tax write-offs you get tax credits you know if you have an ev vehicle but, you know, Lucid Motors is coming to play. I do think that the stock is absolutely worth an investment. I do think that the stock can hit $100 by the end of 2022. And right now is the perfect time to buy. The reason that is because you do not want to buy on the way up. You know, when the stock is sitting at $40, $50, $60, $75 dollars a share, and you're like, I should have bought it when I saw it at $23. Generally speaking, you have to seek out the plays that are going to be good in the long term. I could see Lucid Motors slash Churchill Capital being a very good long term play. Imagine where the company could be in the next three to four to five years. I know when it comes to the stock market, a lot of people do not have that type of patience. They want kind of overnight flips. But for me, I'm taking the opportunity and I've bought so much Churchill Capital stock because I cannot ignore these prices. I think the company is going to do very, very well. I think Lucid Motors is definitely going to bring a lot to the table. Like I said, endorsed by a lot of big banks. A lot of people are buying Churchill Capital. It's got a billion dollar backing by Saudi Arabia as well. And the fact that they're also very well established. They have factories. They have cars. They're trying to produce cars as quick as possible to actually get on the road. The last thing to set in motion for Churchill Capital is physically having their cars on the road and actually making sales. Yes, that's the biggest kind of downturn right now for the company and why a lot of people are not touching Churchill Capital because they have not sold a single product yet. I think that's the biggest thing that's holding people back from investing in Lucid Motors slash Churchill Capital. But I do think right now, guys, is the very perfect opportunity to buy the dip on Churchill Capital. And, you know... With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. You guys, let me know down in the comments section below, guys, what you think of Churchill Capital. Do you guys think Churchill Capital is worth a buy $23.05? If you guys own Churchill Capital stock, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.